Kuzambo and a very warm welcome to you all. I'm Sing Wang Chuk, an English teacher in one of the high schools in Bhutan. Uh, today I would like to participate in this Asian Literary Society's Literary Carnival by reciting a poem on Bhutan titled The Thunder Dragon Roots. Bhutan is the abode of gods and goddesses. Free from pains and sorrows, the Almighty constantly blesses. <laughs> Lucky to be born in this Himalayan kingdom, where the tiniest of beings bask under the shade of freedom. Bhutan is not rich with the possession of the well gold, but it is the richest nation holding the priceless green gold. It's also the richest nation with unique culture and tradition. The government constantly works for poverty eradication. It's one of the most respected and admired nation. All the Buddhist citizens with hearts full of compassion. The kingdom is not ruled by kings, but by the reincarnations of gods. Sacrificing their own comfort and protecting us like peace in pots. The world is not always perfect and free from troubles. Even a calm lake is not always serene and calm. It does form bubbles. Let's travel back to the year 2003 when the insurgents threatened and happiness wasn't free. Sacrificing the royal life joined the soldiers at the forefront, requested them to peacefully live, but they simply did confront. Sensing great threat to the motherland's sovereignty had no option than to drive them forcefully with certainty. In the recent times, COVID manifested its dreaded face. It invaded the peaceful nation, setting its forceful place. It's for sure the COVID virus would suffer a great regret for having trespassed the abode of the Almighty, the Great. Therefore, the mighty thunder dragon roars in the peaceful sky of the kingdom it soars. Uh, that's all from my side. So lastly, I would like to thank uh, Ma'am Bishaka, Manosar, and the whole team of Asian Literary Society for this uh, great opportunity and for making me a part of this Asian Literary Society's Literary Carnival. Thank you. Tashitele.